But what's interesting is we're learning so much more about what truly does happen up here when you have an orgasm. And if you've been searching to unlock the secrets for getting the big O, look no further. A new study has a surprising answer. Scientists at Rutgers University are looking deep into the woman's brain to unlock the mystery of the female orgasm. In a first-of-its-kind study, participating women laid in an MRI scanner while stimulating themselves. The resulting images show different regions of the brain sparking to life before, during, and after an orgasm. Doctors believe this study is the beginning of a journey to find cures for people who suffer from depression, anxiety, and of course, those who have trouble reaching sexual climax. Please welcome head researcher and professor, Dr. Barry Kamasarek, and certified sex therapist, Nan Wise, from Rutgers University. <laughs> so, you're looking at MRIs during orgasm, trying to figure out what's going on, and, and Nan, am, am I correct in saying that some of the MRI images that we have are... That are... is indeed my brain on orgasm. Well, and, and talk us through, Doctor, talk us through what we're seeing in Nan's brain images here. What do these colors mean? Uh, it's as if the, we heat up uh, metal going from uh, red hot and getting uh, to orange and yellow and white hot. So the colors, they represent the activity, and the, the uh, closer to white hot they are, the more activity there is. So does white hot mean that Nan is getting close to orgasm? Right, and when it uh, is uh, yellow and white hot, that's uh, when orgasm occurs. So red is just... Building up, building up, turns yeah. white hot, you're getting there, and right. then you now know what areas of the brain are right. stimulated. And, and what yeah. was interesting, we were reading about this, same area of the brain that responds to pain? Right. There are several areas of the brain that uh, respond to pain, and they're very active during orgasm. And uh, this may account for why very often you have a facial expression of pain at orgasm. <laughs> and how... How can this, Nan, help us then better understand, we're talking about females primarily here in terms of the female orgasm, how can this help us figure out, maybe, or maybe it's someone who can't reach orgasm, can this help us find a solution? Yeah, I think so. We're studying people who don't experience orgasms, and where, where does the block occur? And then we have methods of uh, getting around the block. One, one um, way is by neurofeedback, where we show people their own brain activity while they're in the scanner. 